consultative panel is Hannah Taufik Siraj, who is with us this evening. The, the, committee, the panel watched the film in its entirety and decided that although porn masala was intended to be a satire, but that it was offensive and demeaning to the Indian community. And they decided to, um, to recommend to MDA to ban the film, to remove the N18 category, uh, classification and to ban the film. Um, this happened in uh, the day after the premiere, right? It was pulled from the, from the movie theaters and uh, it was then banned. Then the director of the film and the producer um, appeal against the decision to the film's appeal uh, committee. Um, and one of the distinguished members of the film's appeal committee, um, Professor Walter Woon, is with us this evening. The film's appeal committee watched the whole movie and decided to unban the film, but to reclassify it from M18 to R21, and also requested Ken, the director, to make some edits. And uh, the edits were done, and so the film with a new rating of uh, R21 was um, re-released on the 14th of March this year. This is, of course, for Ken, a happy ending. And, uh, but Ken, I don't know whether the happy ending was um, marked to some extent by the fact that the film censorship board of Malaysia um, has banned the film. <laughs> and uh, I wish they had followed Singapore's good example, but they did not. And the ASEAN International Film Festival and Award decided to remove the film from, the, from the, its repertoire. Um, so, we have to fight another battle. <laughs> um, I've concluded my, my uh, initial remark. We will now see a three-minute uh, trailer, and then I'll ask Ken to speak. So let me introduce Ken. Huh? Uh, Ken Quack um, played a triple role in the making of uh, sex violence, uh, family values. He's one of the scriptwriters. He's also one of the two producers together with Butter Factory, which, you know, in my ignorance, I thought it was a factory that makes butter. <laughs> but apparently it's not. It's a nightclub in one Fullerton. And he's the director of the film. Uh, Ken is an old friend. I knew him when he was the, a reporter with the Straits Times. And I would like to take this opportunity to welcome um, his family here. Ken's father, mother and sister are here. But wait, but wait, uh, please give an even warmer welcome to his more famous wife, Pamela Wee, Pam Wee. Uh, Pam is um, one of my favorite actresses and singers, and one of the famous um, trio making up um, the dim sum dollies. Yeah. So Ken, uh, we'll watch the trailer, then you come up and What's up, yo? Put it there, put it there. Huh? I'm Ken, the director. Can I see a cop? Critics are calling it. Wrong number. Who is this? We're calling the police. You're an adult, right? I can't stop you from doing what you want, wa. Okay, now you're being an asshole, okay? Watch out. I'd like to show you something. For an uncompromising... You're Indian. Don't you beat up your wife every night and fuck her while you're drunk or something? Unapologetic. <laughs> Triple Whammy. Sex. <laughs> Violence. You're a virgin, right? And family values. Talk to me. This is Evelyn. What did you want to see me about? <laughs> From unknown director, Ken Quek. Poor dance union, racism, it's not the same thing. Silence on the set, please. From the squeaky clean shores of Singapore. Don't worry, my darling. 
When we're through, I promise you, you will still be a virgin. And then you fuck up the bum hole. Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. I think this is probably the first uh, academic forum uh, in a very prestigious university where the term porn is in the title. So thanks for coming. I, I feel vaguely embarrassed, actually, but thanks very much. None all the same. Um, <coughs> thank you, um, uh, Dr. Margaret Tan, uh, Craig, uh, and Professor Tommy for organizing and hosting this forum. Um, Professor Walter Woon, uh, Dr. Arun Mahesnan, and Hannah Siraj, I'm, I'm very glad to be a fellow speaker in your company tonight. Um, well, to kick things off, can I just see, just a show of hands, uh, how many in the audience um, have um, seen Pon Masala as a standalone film? And how many have seen it uh, as part of the compendium Sex, Violence, Family Values? Okay, we have a few. Uh, it's, I just want to know uh, who I'm talking to, and I think it's, it, you'll, I think we obviously will have a more informed debate if you've seen the film, uh, but also you'll get a very different experience watching the, f the film Porn Masala on its own and Sex, Violence, Family Values as a compendium. Uh, I think if you see <coughs> Sex, Violence, Family Values, sorry, if you see Pon Masala as a standalone, you may get the impression that uh, Pon Masala is, you know, a somewhat, has, takes a rather dim view of humanity and, you know, uh, prejudice in society. And if you watch the entire compendium, you may go away feeling that, well, that view is somewhat more diluted and softened. Um, and I think that's an important point to make because I, I always intended for all three stories to be seen together. <coughs> I beg your pardon, I have a slight sore throat. Um, and with, you know, with that in mind, I, I would like to um, sort of talk about what's the difference between seeing Porn Masala on its own and seeing it as a compendium and what difference does that make to the issue of censorship in Singapore? Um, I'm not here to defend the film. I think I've done that ad nauseum. Uh, and for me, uh, I don't think that the, the main issue for me at least is not whether the Board of Film Censors should or should not have banned the film. Uh, I'm very glad that uh, Tommy prefaced this forum with the points that he made because I think it's important to stress that I made this film fully aware of the world that we live in now. We live in the world of the Danish cartoons of Salman Rushdie where, you know, the slightest provocation, however good the intentions of the filmmaker or the artist may be, can spark very, very real, uh, not controversy, but violence, that ends in deaths and, and physical hurt and loss of freedom for the artist in very real and troubling ways. So when I decided to make this film called Porn Masala, I, I, I certainly knew what the context of this world that we live in is. I also knew what buttons I perhaps could or should or should not press and what other issues I felt were worth perhaps challenging, addressing, and provoking a debate in Singapore. And, and one of those debates, I think, is race. Um, I am not talking about the horrific racism that you see in some other countries where just because of the color of your skin, you'll get you know, cornered in a, a dark alley and you won't see your family again, at least not with your limbs intact. I'm talking about the casual racism that, in many ways, a lot of us grew up with. Some of it isn't even vindictive. Some of it isn't even malicious. It's just the most casual, 
ignorance about the Indian neighbour or the Malay neighbour